Guys, we just reached the top. I think we have. Oh my god. This is insane. Hopefully it's nothing serious that's gonna go and happen. I don't know, Maddo. Scary. Hello guys, welcome back to another episode from the back of the car. Just here in Christchurch. We're going on a day trip today, but first we're going to cook up some porridge, coffee and tea for the road trip. We're feeling a bit under the weather, so we need to brew up some nice hot tea for the road trip to Akaroa. So we're going to Akaroa through a little river. It's going to be a nice trip. Obviously not the best weather because we've been waiting the past couple of days for a decent day of weather. So it's cloudy. We're still going to go and enjoy the road trip to me and Maddo. It's going to embrace the Kiwi beauty and nature on the way. So at the moment, yeah, obviously it's a bit of a mess, but we need to cook up some water. That's just how we cook up water. Very basic, basic needs, but keeps us going while we're living in the car. Akaroa, Angus beef, Angus beef, Akaroa. Akaroa is the final destination. So yeah, we're enjoying these beautiful views on the way, boys. I heard the streets are very curvy later on. Oh no, don't say that. I'm going to crash into a wall. No. Do a cliffside or go over a cliff or well, hopefully not no hopefully that never ever 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 happens in my in my lifetime yeah guys we're entering little river oh, the guys little little river has a abandoned train here i think you can dine on it yeah it's not um obviously it's not in use anymore as you can see it's just an old track here that has been ripped up Maybe you can check the train from inside. I'm gonna have a quick look at the moment. I'm gonna check it out, see if there's, if you can actually see. Oh, there's an old train tra train station, I think. That is so cool. Oh, that is awesome, guys. Look inside. I'm not sure if you can go inside, though. Oh, you have all the workers in the back making lots of noise. Let's see, can you check inside? Oh, the door is, uh, the door is closed. That's sad. I think people are gonna sit on board, though. Look and read books. Well, actually, it, might look, it looks like a knob store, maybe. But there you go, there's a, there's a little river. It is very small, it is very little as well. But um, me and Maddo are coming down with something. We're not well, but I'm feeling energetic still. I'm still getting my energy up. But there's Maddo. She's, uh, she's gone, she's knocked out. She's really not feeling good. Um, yeah, we're fighting something, so. We're still gonna try to have a good day, no matter what, even if we're sick or not. Oh, poor Maddo. She's not well. Look at this dangerous road to get to Akaroa, guys. It's a very loopy, very, very windy, loopy road. Very dangerous. Oh my god. Hopefully nothing serious happens or bad happens on this crazy dangerous road, guys. Look at that. That is gorgeous. It's part of the, the adventure of this road trip today is enjoying the beauty of nature behind us. It's nice and green as you can see. We have all these windy roads in the way to get here though unfortunately. And we're going uphill over the mountains. I didn't realize it was so elevated over this way towards Akaroa. Now this part really reminds me of Ireland. It reminds me of the Dublin mountains when I'm driving through the Dublin mountains. It reminds me exactly like that. And it's nice and green like Ireland. And this part of New Zealand really reminds me of that. It's so beautiful. Maddo, hang in there. And it smells like the Dublin mountains as well. It smells like Ireland. I can't smell anything. It smells so weird. Oh yeah, she's all stuffed up from her cold. She's getting sick, aren't you? How are you feeling, Madeline? Cool. Hang in there, we can do this together, okay? I'm just tired. We can do this together, okay? It's beautiful up here. Enjoy, enjoy, okay? Sure, Survive, Maddo. Yeah. I believe in you. I believe in Maddo, she can get through this day and have a good day. I can't smell it. it smells like Ireland, Maddo. I can't smell it. Sniff. Can't smell anything. Yes. You. That's so beautiful. This, I found my favorite place. Barry's Bay, yeah, traditional handcrafted cheese. Just before so, we, so People recommended us coming here and obviously- A good friend do. Kent actually recommended yeah. this place. Yeah, and some other people mentioned it too. And obviously guys, you you know I love my cheese, so to go there, Clem. Oh. Follow the entrance sign. Oh, they're all making the cheese in the back. <gasps> I want to see the action. It is a cheese factory. So I think maybe you can watch them and taste and see whatever. Oh my god. I'm ready for some cheese. You ready for some cheese, Maddo? Yeah. You're gonna buy some cheese? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Just I think I she's fascinated by seeing the, the production of cheese here in New Zealand because they sell all the the forest quality cheese to international buyers unfortunately so we're trying to find the local places where you can purchase the good cheese we can get the first quality as well there's a little shop here look at the cheese production in the back hey how are you oh wow 
That's the processor in the background. Yeah. Wow, it's a big production. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. Well, that's the sort of what cheese are they making now? Oh, Avati, right? okay. Well, they're working hard anyway. Yeah. Oh my, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen it in action actually before, so. I did see it. Okay. Yeah. In Switzerland. Oh, there you go. The force for me. That's so fascinating. And is this sent abroad or is this also sold in the region? All full value, Ah, nice. That's good. That's good. Yeah. What do you think of the cheese, madam? I love cheese. No, you don't. What cheeses are on the menu today? Christmas tree shaped cheese for Christmas sure. time. You can actually taste some of the cheeses over there. There's some taste and uh, cubes at the, at the till. But you need to put that in the fridge, unfortunately. Well, maybe I'm just gonna buy a small thing and eat that all today. Yeah, true, okay. So you can actually taste the cheese here if you like. Find a bit of cheese for the yeah, day. Of course. It's um, team 44. No problem. Thank you. Uh, anyway. All right, Thank all you. the best now. Yeah, see ya. Thank you. All right. We got some cheese. We only we got a bit of cheese for lunch because yeah. we have a fridge, so we can't buy a lot. It's yeah, enough for, for today. So that's gonna be a part of our lunch and our dinner. Part of so. our experience today as well. Mara yeah. loves the cheese, so we thought we'd spoil her today because she's not feeling well. So we have to make sure she has a good day today. Isn't that right, Madeline? Yeah, that's right. Welcome to this little town called Akarua, guys. Yep. Welcome. We've arrived. Feels very isolated out this way. Just enjoying a bit of cheese here. So welcome to Akaroa guys. We just arrived, we parked up and we're having late breakfast as we speak. So supposedly there is a French influence here. They did arrive in the 1840s and they do have some French bakeries and also there's some French festivals throughout the year. By talking to other French people, they feel that there is no French influence here really. There's not really much of a French vibe. The French people say when they do come here and visit themselves, but we're still going to explore and give you an insight of the area, okay? So uh, that's the main objective. Well, I'm really excited, even though it's cloudy, the weather's not the best, but you have to make the most of every situation, guys. Yeah, so, Isn't that right? So we're here to figure it out if there is a French influence, if you feel like it's like French of a French city. So, guys, the population is very small here. So it's mostly just tourists kind of passing through. We have a lovely town courthouse behind us built in 1879. <laughs> and then we have a lovely building over here to the left. I'm not sure where to get the architecture from, but it's kind of very similar all around uh, New Zealand, as you probably noticed yourself. So we're just kind of walking through, exploring the town. I think there's a small church over there in the distance. That's really cool. And here's the seaside down here, looking over the the beautiful water up this at the seafront. This crater cafe, like a Roa cafe here. Also, just take in mind, uh, most places will close during the week and they will open during the weekend only, unfortunately. And there's a French bakery. You can buy some bread, Maddo. Only available from Thursday to Sunday. Only available from Thursday to Sunday? What, bread? But they sell other things, yeah? I'm not sure. It's open. Why don't you check? Right, so if you want to beget guys, you have to come between Thursday and Sunday, unfortunately. That's probably when the peak and the peak is and that's when the busiest time is. It's Tuesday, so it's it, quite empty. Yeah, yeah it's going to be quite, pretty quiet, so I'd recommend coming on the weekend, guys, if you want to have a better time, a better I mean, experience. You, I mean, you can have a good time all the time, but it's probably more lively. I yeah, guess. yeah. If you're looking for more people, that is. Mm. Look at all the houses at the seafront. That is so awesome. Such a beautiful place to live. I mean, I noticed that a lot of places have like French names, like for example, Masson. Masson? There you go. Akaroa Masson. Um, and there's like a boucher, boucherie, like a butcher. So the, uh, most, a lot of the places are named English and French then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. Right, uh, we're going to walk down this wharf and look at the water from a different perspective. Daly's Wharf and Slipway. Want to check it out? Yeah, let's walk. What, you can see dolphins swimming. How are we doing? Good, how are you doing? Pretty good. Yeah, so you can also book your dolphins. Experience, experience your dolphin here. experience. But the, oh, the dolphins swim around here. Oh, look at all the duckies. Woo. It's cool, isn't it? It's very peaceful out here. See, like earlier it reminded us, it reminded us of Ireland, but like looking in the background, this could be like, I don't know. I've never been to Hawaii, but Hawaii? I don't know. It's like this beach and tropical, but at the same time, the mountain that reminds me of Ireland. New Zealand is, is like, tropical. It's like so 
tropical and nothing I've ever seen in my entire life before so it's very unique here That's what he was especially here. like especially like this place the Peninsula here just outside of Christchurch definitely worth a visit guys if you're in Christchurch it's kind of a chilly and area, I man. think it's worth just coming here for half a day or day I mean it's not too far of a drive it's only a small town it's very small population the, the town is really small but there's so much to do here you can swim with dolphins you can do hikes there's loads of viewpoints there's actually a lot of activities here to do in Akaroa do you want to walk down here to the right fully explore the area because we probably won't be back this way so we need to see everything we can possibly can while we're exploring the area it's cool though isn't it What's your favorite thing about this place, Mado? It looks so tropical. That's your favorite thing? A lot know. of places in New Zealand look tropical though. I don't know, it's very... <laughs> it's hard to tell, you only have five minutes. True, true, true. It's only a historic church, Mado. Yes, yeah, historic church. Right, yo. St. Peter's. St. Peter's Church. Right. I mean, okay. Okay, I have to say that's very French. I mean, the architecture looks, looks quite European and you have the lavender, which is like reminds me so of France so you've seen a lot of France yeah. haven't you Mado? Yeah. you've seen most of France it smells so good that will relax your mind Mado. It smells so good relax your mind before you enter the church historic Akaroa building it smells like lavender yeah. it smells so nice it's close it's open yeah. it's open The churches are always well maintained, aren't they, Maddo? Yeah. And they're always open to the public, all day long. That's always a nice smell when you go inside. Maddo, oh. you, you're really smelling the, the oh, flowers smell around this. town. I can smell this. Oh, yeah, that's good. It smells like fresh perfume, organic perfume. Best in town. So let's continue the little city tour. Are we going down the other end? Yeah. There's a lot of French buildings. It's not even French, though. It's just like the rest of New Zealand with the Victorian architecture. So this was built in 1840s. Oh, wow. This is one of the oldest, oldest buildings in Canterbury. Actually. And that's when the French came, it was 1840, yeah? yeah? And the only surviving French made building in the town center. Oh, wow. you think you can go inside? I think, oh, I think you can, I think it's like, a, it's a museum, Mado. It's just not open yeah. at the moment, I don't think. Oh no, it's around here actually. Sorry, the museum is here. I don't think we're gonna go inside though. To be honest, I'm not, I'm not really, I don't like the museum so much, but Mado does. From 1880 till 1979, nearly for 100 yeah. years. That was the courthouse. Yeah. Akaroa Butcher and Delhi. They made it look very French. Is it? Does it really look like a French butcher's back in France though? What do you think? What's your comparison? From your experience? Let me know. Looks like a butcher. Love butcher look the same, don't you? Oh, that's so nice. They have a great selection of meats in there. What's on sale today? You've got a salmon, hot smoke. All smoked. Hmm. I mean, friend? unfortunately, we have uh, no fridge, so we we'll can't buy any meats. No, uh. you have to cook it today, though. Do you know what? Do you know what time it is, guys? I think it's coffee time. Oh, I think it is coffee time. Maybe the walk, common cafe over here. Maybe walk through start there. You want to walk down here first? Yeah. Right, sounds like a plan. They have a, even a waffle house. What well, house is in German, though? No. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what it it's like Waffle House, but how do you spell it is in uh, German. Why, there's quite a lot of traffic. It is, yeah, it's all the tourists passing, boy. There's the gas station, and there's some nice clothes for sale. And we have a little, lovely little river over here, look. And, and nice little flowers along the fence way. Can't go wrong with that. What's inside? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a paddy hat. Look at the beautiful colours of the, the buildings, Mado. It's really cool, isn't it? With the pink flowers look at that embrace the, the smell it's like really old type of roses they're like all smelling oh they're so good they wake you up don't they i can smell i don't think i have covid you don't think you have covid no, yeah lucky so we have a tasting house over here hey guys how are you all right good thank you pretty good oh yeah look at that i think that's a hotel mm -hmm. oh yeah this is a hotel it's a restaurant as well yeah, I like the way they build the hotels and restaurants together on the street. 
with this old kind of type of building. Well, it is an outdoor uh, sitting area. You can enjoy some food and uh, some soup of the day with garlic baguette. <laughs> and some Moroccan seafood. That's a bit of an over overwhelming selection of foods, guys. Yeah, that's a bit Keep the one food, guys. It makes it easier for people to choose. <laughs> when you have too many things in the menu. They have like a vintage market. Oh, uh, they do? Vintage market. Today, though, no? You have a coffee in Danish meadow for $9.50. Can't it's go wrong with that. Too. That's a bargain, yeah? <laughs> Is it good, yeah? Yeah, man, we just had to feed this. Pretty bloody good. Oh, lovely. Where are you from? Ah, uh, you uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, my missus from Aussie, so I've spent a lot of time there. We've got I hear the accent, yeah. Accent yeah, yeah, I hear the <laughs> It's a weird one, eh? Hey? You have the hat as well from Aussie. Yeah, yeah, I love this. Hey, came back from Aussie flavour. <laughs> love it. Hey, guys, have a good one, man. Same to you. Have a good one. Open. It's a nice place, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's so, so beautiful. Oh, no, copyright music. No. I think it's like a flea market here, Maddo. It's an outdoor market. It's like a, I think it's secondhand goods. It's like an up store. Plus cafe. Can't go wrong with that. There's some lovely little teddy bears. Do you want a teddy bear for the car, Maddo? Hmm? Keep you warm at night. Hmm? Do you want a teddy bear? He looks cool. Little Ted. We call him Ted, yeah? Hello, Ted. How are you? Do you want to be Madeline's friend for the night in the car? No, I want to sure? call you. Ah, okay. That's nice. I'm the big teddy bear, so. Oh, the man wasn't very nice to Maddo over there, so we left. <laughs> Notice they're selling a lot of secondhand goods here along the street and all the stores. That is so cool. But it is vintage. It is vintage. Ah, oh, look at the piano. That's so cool. The French Quarter lace. I wonder where that is. Fishing rods, guys. They're not too. They're not too expensive either. Out of forty dollars. How are you doing? You well? Pretty good. Wow, they're really all stuff here, aren't they? Very vintage. Wow. These were the days. 1920s. I like the way in New Zealand they keep everything intact for a long time. So many, so much vintage stuff here, don't they? Look at that. That's so cool. Fake grapes. grapes. <laughs> oh, that's very old. It's nice though, isn't it? I think this house needs a fresh layer of paint here on the fence to spice the house up and make it look beautiful. <laughs> As you can see, it's very mysterious today, but it is what it is. It's cloudy. We are at the little bistro we're passing here in town. I think we also have another boutique store here to the right. That's not a... I don't think that's a vintage store. No, that's a... I think that's a, an original boutique store selling original goods. So I think that's the tour of the town, madam, yeah? There's not much to see, but... I'm ready for a uh, chai latte cleanse. Where do you want to get it? Over there. Let's do it. Let's get a cup of coffee. Let's spice this day up and make it better. Common cafe. It says Merry Christmas here in the front. Happy Christmas. Happy Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Welcome to the Common Cafe coffee house where we're going to pick up a nice coffee fix. Sit down. Caffeine fix. Want to sit outside? It's busy inside though, isn't it? Hello. 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 Just yeah, so good. In a French influenced town, so you have to pick up yourself a pastry, mm. don't you? It's warm. It's warm? Cozy? Yeah. Warm the body up? Tastes so good. On this cold day? Mm -hmm. How's the taste? Really good. All the little birdies are chasing you, but look, they have a poor arm. Mm. Poor arm. Yeah. They want some uh, croissant. Ah. Yeah. I like not try at all. No. With confidence uh -huh. of steel. It's coffee time. I got a Hammer Springs. Oh my uh, god, that's table, so uh, cool. Spoon. Of course, there's a there's a spoon for every we every, went every, there. every town in about, New Zealand. But it's cooler when you actually went there. Yeah. And where are we going? I just find these spoons so fascinating though. That's why we bought a few in the flea market in Christchurch. I think it's Pancake Tuesday in there. Everybody's having pancakes. And it says Pancake Tuesday. But I think it's every Tuesday matter here. Yeah. I think that's the story here. It's not once a year like Ireland. We have Pancake Tuesday once a year, guys, yeah. and we celebrate it in style. But yeah, we're finished. We're finished in this town. We're going no. to the lighthouse. We're going to the lighthouse. We are indeed. We need to get the car. Or are we, are we going to walk? Yeah, we take the car. It's only a 20 minute walk, but we, we take the car. I'm exhausted. And then we actually do another walk, another walk with like a nice view. Oh, it sounds like a solid plan. Car's over there to the right, Maddo. Driving along the waterfront here in Akaroa, there is a... Beautiful, isn't it? Where? Oh, it's over there. 
It's under construction now, madam. This guy is renovating as well. Look, he's doing an amazing yeah. job. Hello, sir. Maybe you should concentrate on driving. I should, maybe I should. Yeah. No, it's under construction the lighthouse. Oh, no. Heart's broken. So we just reached the Akaroa lighthouse and it's under construction, unfortunately. So, obviously it's not the nicest to look at, but we made it. That's all that matters. How are you feeling? We made it, but we can't even access it. Oh, that's Maybe very... Maybe give it a new paint. New paint job to keep it nice and crispy and white. And there you go, there's the harbour in the background, the marina, where everybody stores their boat. The wind is starting to kick in. We have Akaroa Head I Lighthouse. Exhibited in 1880. That's a long, that's a long time ago, isn't it? They've looked after all these years. Yeah, we just stopped by uh, another place here in Akaroa. And they have, I think they sell Guinness over here, to the right in this restaurant. For some reason they sell Guinness everywhere in New Zealand. I've noticed many bars sell it. I think they really like it in this place, in this, in this country. Where does Mano go? There's another bar and restaurant. We have some Thai food for lunch here, $19. Can't go wrong with that, that looks delicious. This is a funky little town though. We have a lot of Asian uh, tourists actually here in town today. There's a lot of them enjoying themselves. I just went in there to look for you, but you weren't there. Because you're always in the crystal store everywhere we go. Best. Yeah. It's open. Rock and crystal shop. Yeah. Alright guys, we're climbing up this mountain. We're gonna drive up this mountain. A bit of elevation. I'm not sure how long it takes us, 12 minutes to a parking spot and then I think you can walk the rest of the, the hill for an hour or so. So let's do it. Yeah. Let's make it a day of it. Stony Bay Peak, it's called. It is? Yeah. That's an interesting one, Glenn. We love oh. a good dirt road, don't we? Yeah, we do, yeah. This road's a bit mad, though. So... I would, uh, recommend coming up here in your car. Uh, do you the, want to wreck your car? With the careful van, maybe not so smart. No. Oh my god, that's so... It's not that bad, Glenn. So weird. Uh, so it's, incline. Uh, it's just so bad because we don't have a manual car. I know, yeah. I'm just keeping it in second gear the whole time. It always feels a bit easier if you have a manual car. We're not obviously not used to having an automatic car. It's like you feel like you can't control so much. But like it's already worth the, the trip up here. Look at this beautiful view. And the view's even getting better. We have another three kilometer up, like seven minutes, and then we're gonna hike up there for, for half an hour. And the views apparently are amazing. So hope this goes well here on this road. Those hobbit trees. It's so cool! It gets so wild here! That's why we have to get off the beaten track, Glenn. It's an adventure. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Not when you like a car, but yeah. Sometimes. Oh, look how high we're going up and the road is like mad. The road is a bit mad, isn't it? Well, it's only one more minute, it's apparently. It's not really good idea, driver. I believe missed that wish. Uh, look at this. I think it's an incredible, amazing idea seeing this view. Huh? Oh my god, this is mad. This view, <laughs> like, it's so misty and mysterious. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's hope a car is not coming my way. Though. Yeah, I hope there's no car coming towards us, and I hope there's some sort of space where we can park the car. Okay, I think that's a car park, isn't it? That's a car park. Where? Uh, is it Misty Peak Reserve? There's no camping. Yeah, but we're just parking, we're not camping. True. Oh my god, them little holes in the ground there. Oh my god, look at the water. <sighs> ah. Not sure where this goes though, Glenn. Oh, I think we have to Look at the blue water, Madela. Yeah. It's incredible looking. Guys, we, we arrived at the Misty Peaks Reserve. Looking over the beautiful hilltop here. I think we're gonna walk up here. Walk around, explore the area for a few minutes and then have uh, maybe lunch up here. But it is a bit chilly up here of course with the, wind, with the windy breezes. Great isn't it? Mm. To get to experience this, it makes us very grateful for life and to really encounter and experience this type of experience here in New Zealand. We're very grateful aren't we Madam? Mm. Yeah. You hungry? Yeah. Starving aren't we? Guys there's different tracks from here. So we're gonna do the peak 40 minutes. Is that 40 way. minutes return? No, 40 minutes. Oh way. my god. That's not that bad. Boy, let's run it. Let's go. Let's go. No. Let's run it. Marathon. Uh, Come on, Maddo. Let's do it. We can do it. 20 minutes, yeah? Come on, let's go. That's not even funny. I'm 
not feeling well. You better get a move on before it rains, yeah. Mano. There was a damage to the to the track before in December 2021. But tired of track. Guys, look at all the gorse in the background. All the yellow trees you Kiwi people really dislike and try to get rid of. I love them. We like them though because they do have them in, in Ireland everywhere and also the UK. That's where they kind of came from in the first place. Back in the 1800s they thought it was a good idea to bring it along but fences. they make fences, bush fences. But now look, look, they're everywhere now. They're everywhere. The whole mountain is full of uh, gorse. Oh, what's this place? What is the shelter? That's a little cute shelter there. Want to check it out? Oh, even a toilet, look. Oh, this is lux luxurious, guys. This is very fancy. Oh, this is just a toilet. Yeah. What type of toilet is it? Compass? It was comp- Oh, jeez. I thought I'd seen an animal there for a second. There was a piece of wood moving. I got a heart attack. Oh. Roy, what's inside, Maddo? Oh. Kiara Walker's taking over with her. Just giving you an insight of things can change. Incredible looking, isn't it? All right, to climb the fence, get to the peak over here. They always have this little... Yeah, just to prevent the animals jumping. There. Yeah, just to prevent the animals maneuvering around. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look at this gorse. Lots of gorse. The gorse is taking over. Oh my God, guys, look at that. It's everywhere, it's so big. It's gonna be a lot of work to get rid of gorse up here anyway. It's too windy, so it just keeps getting blown everywhere and it's grown everywhere freely, so that's the problem. Guys, we are going deep into the gorse here to climb this mountain. Gorse die! This is the gorse magic forest. It's leading us the way, it's so mysterious. Look. <laughs> Whee! You're smoking the funny stuff, Mado. <laughs> getting high on nature. It's pretty wild terrain, isn't it? My god, this is mad. Edge view one minute, Mado. Over here. To this wild bush. So wild up here with the wind, guys. Oh, that was fast. That wasn't 40 minutes. That was like 20, 25 minutes, no? I don't think it's a good idea to walk through here in shorts, Mado. I don't think it was a good idea, yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, we just reached the top. I think we have. Oh my god. This is insane. Right. Have you reached heaven, Mado? Oh my god. This is unbelievable. This is so beautiful. Wow. Jesus, oh my god, I was not expecting that. Yeah, I mean, that's when you drive up a gravel road. That's when you, that's, I think it was worth the road trip to get up to this mountain. Yeah. Whoa. You see on all sides, it's like 360 degree view. Look at that, guys. That's beautiful. It just blows you away here. So you definitely have to check the weather coming up here. And also, like, weather can change pretty quickly, so definitely uh, make sure you're prepared for weather changes it's just, it's just me and Maddo up, up on top of this mountain it's I don't see anybody else there's nobody else up here it's just me and you I think it's because of the weather me and you and you guys watching this video <laughs> yeah that's why we love doing YouTube guys because then you can all tag along on our adventures and see this beautiful view for the people that can't travel for whatever reasons so we're super grateful that we can show you this, guys. I think we're gonna finish a little walk with a feed. We need to make some eggs and avocado and tomatoes. Beautiful combination. Maddo's the chef right now. She's gonna scramble up. She's gonna scramble the eggs up there, store them well, Maddo, yeah? Make sure uh. you do a great job. So that's, that's us on wheels, cooking on the go. We usually have eggs, tuna, tomatoes, fresh veg that you don't need a fridge for. That's usually what, how we cook. And then we just throw the eggs in there on the stove. Easy as. While enjoying this beautiful masterpiece behind us, this is pure art here, guys. You can't get over this view. And the wind is gone now, it's so peaceful. Time for a bit of sizzling. Oh yeah, there you go. Lovely fresh eggs. They were on sale and packing safe, $5 for 10. Can't go wrong with that, can you? Free range eggs. <laughs> I mean, we Christmas love- Christmas special. I mean, we pr prefer buying it on the side of the road. Yeah, when we have the opportunity, we buy it on the side of the street because it's more organic and it's- Support the locals. locals. And it's a bit cheaper usually. Bon appetito, Maro. Cheers. Cheers. Bit of cheese, eggs, salad, and a lovely bread from the farmer's market. Can't go wrong with that, can you? You are in paradise, aren't you? Delicious. Oh, I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this view, guys. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy while I eat. Embrace it. Embrace the moment. Guys, I wonder what that city alarm is. You can hear it all the way around the whole city here, around the bay. I'm sure if you can hear it, guys. Maybe you guys know what it is. Hopefully it's not a, an earthquake warning or something, something horrific. What because... earthquake warning? 
I don't know. When you hear a siren like that in the whole city, it, it's not usually a good sign. Because you can hear it in multiple places. Do you hear it? And you can hear it all the way from the top here, so... The reach is pretty far. That's scary. Hopefully it's nothing serious that's going to go happen. No. I don't know, Maddo. Scary. Back down to Agaroa. And then, I'm not sure what we're doing then. I think we're probably going to drive home, are we? Yeah. Yeah. Drive home. <laughs> Our home is in the back. True, true, true that. Yeah, right in the back there, guys. Oh, we have some fine weather now. Oh, wow, we have to drive all the way down here. <laughs> Just can't believe that's where we came up. But the sun, you really see like how green the grass is when the sun comes out. So beautiful. Look, there's the edge. So guys, we're actually staying in Akaroa. We're gonna stay on a self-contained campsite here, just beside the waterfront in the background because our brakes smell really bad and we thought we'd just stop. They're really worn down and we need to get them changed as soon as possible before we have a, a serious incident. Yeah, I don't want to take the risk. So we're going to stay here, guys, just here. There's a few other people here next door and a few others over there as well, so... We just don't know the situation with the toilets, guys. Where, that's a bit That's a well, bit of a grey area. Well, obviously someone's going to check because so it's not loud. Someone's not going to check. Maybe. It's a bit of a grey area with the self contained. A car is officially self contained, we just don't have the toilets in it. So, yeah, that's the problem. So, but there's toilets over there, which makes no sense. So, you use the toilets over there, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, this is kind of a situation right now. We're just setting the bed up and we're putting all the bags in the front. Isn't that right, Maddo? So, we're uploading a video, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is dedication. So, we just put all the bags in the front and move the, the seats forward, and then we have a cozy place to sleep for the night. So, that's the, that's the story. And that's how we do it, do it every night, so. And then we just put the curtains up at night, which I'll show you later. And we only have a minimum, a maximum of two nights here in a 30 day period. We just had some food and now there's actually, there's a security man checking all the cars there, the self-contained cars, checking, taking the registration uh, just behind me. So hopefully it's nothing serious. I think it's just taking note of the registrations to make sure people are not staying longer than two days in a 30 day period. Yeah, maybe he's checking the toilets. We don't have a toilet in the car, so we have to stay back here for a while just to, just to make sure it doesn't check our car. <laughs> Guys, this was an eventful day. Last minute decision to actually stay here instead of actually driving back to Christchurch. Yeah. But here we are. and. But I think it's a nice place and I'm glad we're staying here. I think it's you think so after being so scared of the security man checking the cars and the vans? I oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, Madeline was hiding in the bush for like 40 minutes out across the road waiting for the security was, man to disappear. I was looking at the sunset. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, um, I think it was a guy checking if it's self-contained or not. So uh, I, yeah, yeah. I just shut all the curtains and hid in the car. Yeah. And uh, I pretended I was sleeping or, yeah. And we were okay in the end. So. Yeah, I think it's okay now. We have no toilet, that's the problem. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and following our journey and we hope you stick around for the next one and give us a like, subscribe and comment down below. See you later guys. Bye.